What's up guys, welcome back to another vlog. Uh, and for today's video, I just wanted to briefly talk about this Brie Larson situation. A lot of you guys out there know that Brie Larson is coming under fire for, from a lot of certain groups out there. Um, about comments that she made about, um, you know, recent comments that she made basically about the Captain Marvel movie and more and in particular about the press tour. She said basically that there wasn't enough, you know, women and enough people of color on the press tour, that she basically wanted to see less white guys, that apparently she did some research into it, she actually did some studies into it. And, you know, look, I'm not sitting here trying to bash Brie Larson, you know, Captain Marvel doesn't deserve to be boycotted, you know, I'm still going to see the film and all, and all, the, all, the, all this stuff. You can't argue the political and uh, messages when it comes to Marvel movies because, like, every Marvel movie has been political. There's some, poli there's some political aspect to every Marvel movie. Um, but something that, th th there's a point here that people are missing. And that is that, you know, look, it's not just that Brie Larson wants... A, a, a diversity of people, right? A, a, a diverse groups on, on a press tour. There's nothing wrong with that on the surface. But there starts to become something wrong with that when you look further into it. Because look, not, you know, all of us know that it's clear as day that there, that there is a huge feminist agenda being pushed through Hollywood right now. And it's not just feminist, it's political. It's just political. All, everything PC you can imagine is being pushed through Hollywood right now, and a feminist agenda is along with that. Now, what a lot of people are forgetting is about this article right here, which I have in front of me, which is uh, Brie Larson um, accepting um, the Crystal Award when she was at those award ceremonies. This is what she said at the award ceremonies, and this is attached to um, all, all, the, all the press tour stuff that's coming out right now. This is what she said about uh, the movie A Wrinkle in Time. She said, I don't need a 40-year-old white dude to tell me what didn't work about A Wrinkle in Time. It wasn't made for him. I want to know what it meant to women of color, biracial women, to teen women of color. And again, there's nothing wrong with, it, with where she's coming from. She wants to know because, you know, uh, maybe I guess The Wrinkle of Time was made for, uh, for a specific group. But it's really strange to hear someone speak like that. Because it, it's, like, it's like, you know, you don't want to hear from a 40-year-old white dude why. Be because we're not good film reviewers? I guess Jeremy John should, stu should step down. I guess Chris Stuckman should step down. Apparently, we don't have uh, good opinions because we're, we're white people. And see, this is not me saying this. this. That's Brie Larson. She said that. She doesn't need to hear from us. She doesn't want to hear from 40-year-old white dudes. Why not? Because we're white? Because, because we, don't, we don't have opinions about film? Because we can't form opinions? It's right there in black and white, guys. You know what I'm saying? No, no pun intended. Um, so, like, it's not, you know, for, for her to want a more diverse press group is one thing. But then you pull up an article like that, and now you see the real reason behind it. It's not, it's not just because she wants a more diverse press group. It's because she doesn't like white guys. She's one of these feminist agenda pushers in Hollywood that's, that's demonizing men. That's what's going on here. I talked about this a couple of videos ago. This reverse racism and this reverse sexism. Everything's reversed nowadays. Now it's white men who are being demonized and torn down. And that's not the way to, to go about things. You don't tear down another group in order to further your agenda. And it's right there, guys. It's right there. And like I said, the, you know, this isn't meant, you know, I don't want you guys to go attack Brie Larson, right? right? This isn't an attack. Everybody is allowed to have their opinions. But there's clearly another side to things. It's not just about the press. There's another side to things. And she said it right there at the awards ceremony. She doesn't want to hear from us. She doesn't want to hear from white guys. Why not? What we we can't have opinions about film? Why can't we have opinion about opinions about films? Could it be because maybe there's certain political agendas being pushed through and those groups can't talk about the other groups? It's right there in front of your face, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's like so don't demonize the individual. Demonize the movement that is pushing it through. Because while Brie Larson is allowed obviously to have an opinion you can see right there that there's another agenda 
being pushed through. It's that she doesn't trust white guys. There's no trust for white men anymore. White men are demonized today. Nobody wants to hear from us anymore. We don't, we're not allowed to have opinions because we're the only ones that have had opinions, apparently, over the past hundred, hundred years, which is not true. You know what I mean? I mean, it's like, this is just an agenda. It is just a, a politically correct agenda, once again. So, you know, Captain Marvel doesn't need to be boycotted, but there is an issue here that people need to look at, okay? And, and look, don't, be, don't let yourself be labeled as a troll because that, that, that's another issue here is that, you know, people who are speaking out against the Captain Marvel movie, and I know there's a lot of people speaking out against the movie and they haven't even seen it yet, right? But the reason they're speaking out is because of that. That's why they're speaking out is because, because there's, there's something to speak out against before the movie even comes out. And it's, and it's because comments like that. And they're being labeled as trolls. What? Well, I, I have an opinion, so I'm a troll? You see, the real issue that you should be paying attention to are the labelers, are the people who are labeling you as something, because that's how they're trained to react. If you have an opinion about something, that, that where you're, say you're talking about people of color or you're talking about women. If you're a white guy talking about people of color, bam, racist. If you're a white guy talking about women, bam, sexist. If you're a white guy speaking out against the comments that Brie Larson made about, about Captain Marvel, bam, you're a troll. This is America, where we celebrate democracy, free speech, free opinion, free will. This is the land of freedom, right? Not really. If this is kind of the land of oppressed opinions. You're not allowed to speak out against anything because you will be hammered by people who are trained to react in a certain way. Bam, racist. Bam, sexist. And now you can't say anything else. And, and if this video gets circulated, I will be labeled as a racist. Watch. And I will be labeled as a sexist. You know who the real trolls are? Those are the real trolls. The people labeling you as something. Because they are so scared to hear an opposing point of view. They are so scared to have their bubble burst that they need to demonize you. So just remember that, guys. Keep that in mind, that it's not about what Brie Larson said about the press tour. It's about those comments that she made when she accepted the Crystal Award. That's what's going on. That's how she really feels about the situation, and that's the agenda. Remember, it's not the person. Not the person. The person is a puppet. It's the agenda being pushed behind them. It's the agenda that they are representing. That's what's wrong, and that's what needs to change about the world. You know what I mean? Because... Nobody should be demonized in this society. Women should not be demonized, ethnic groups should not be demonized, and white males should not be demonized. Just move the F forward as one. You know, Black Panther taught us that. I, I, one of the reasons that I loved the end of Black Panther so much was because th that speech at the end of the movie, where he was talking about, you know, everyone needs to come together as one tribe and move forward. What, 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 do you, what do you think he was talking about one tribe as in just the black people that lived in Wakanda? He meant everybody, the whole world. Drop the borders of hate and insecurity and just move forward as one people. Let the world come together as one tribe and move forward. Not separate, together. You know, so that's what it's about. So, and of course, you know, now it's time for you guys to leave all of your thoughts and opinions down below in the Great White Void. I want to know what you guys think, and uh, there's something to think about for today, guys.